I'm Jesse Zeiderfeld. I saw Puck Empire post that the NHL is seriously considering a return to Atlanta. Please tell me this is a joke. No way they should get that third shot while Quebec City can't get a second. Technically, Quebec City, the Nordiques were their second shot. They had a team in like 1919, but I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Obviously, there has been some push towards Atlanta getting a team. There's been intense blowback, and I understand why people don't want a team in Atlanta because they've seen it multiple times. But when looking at this interview with Bill Daly that they do, and I've always said, I think an Atlanta team could potentially work. This this might sound crazy, but I do agree that there might be some market factors that have changed in the past couple of years that do make it more favorable versus when they were the Atlanta Flames versus when they were the Atlanta Thrashers. And let's look at that article right now. So obviously, Greg Winooski, or however you, however you pronounce it, did a very good article on this. And in it, Bill Daly said, I think that there's some changes. I think I think times have pretty changed pretty dra- dramatically, and the market demographics have changed pretty dramatically since the first time we went there, and then again in 1990. I think a lot of bigger businesses are in Atlanta now, which does make sense. And then he said, the Atlanta market is much different. Uh, he said the location of the, the rink will be key to success. He points to how they've used to play at the State Farm Arena with the Atlanta Hawks, and it was a mess. And also, when you look at the Atlanta Braves, they switched the, they switched fields. They built a new field, and it ended up being fantastic. And when you look at Atlanta, he is right. Since 1999, Atlanta has exploded massively. Looking at the Atlanta population, it was 3.3 million back in 1999, which is still a massive market, but now it's 6.1%. You look at that annual change percentage, it has been growing at about a 3% four, 3 to 4% rate on average since 1999. It has exploded in population. So as a result, it's the sixth biggest metro area in the entire United States. You compare that to like a Quebec City, which was 681,000 back in 1999 versus today, 844. It's only been growing at barely even 1%. So you look at it in terms of the market, the market has almost doubled in Atlanta for a potential team that is important when looking at an NHL franchise versus Quebec City that has grown like 20 five thirty percent at most the atlanta market is so much bigger and maybe now it could support a team i'm not saying it's going to be like ever be a massive massive success but you look at some other southern markets this tweet from grav really put it in perspective vegas was first in attendance nashville was fourth in attendance carolina was 10th tampa bay was 11th dallas was 13th Hockey has grown, especially in these untraditional markets, these Southern markets. So I think potentially going back to Atlanta could be successful when you consider that the first Atlanta time, they only made the playoffs, I believe, once in 12 years. As much as you want to say it, the success initially of an expansion team is essential to its success. If you have that track record, you could have put a team in a very, very good market and it wouldn't be that successful if you had one playoff success in 12 years. Capturing that initial market share by your team being good right off the rip instead of stinking for a decade, then maybe you get good. That is massive. You look at the Vegas Golden Knights. Do we think that if they first year were a bottom six team, then maybe bottom 10, then maybe bottom 15, then they were like a decent, okay playoff team. Do we think that they would be nearly as successful as today? No, right off the rip. Well, also if they were the first team in Vegas. So I guess that is a little bit different situation, but even Seattle second year, make the playoffs. The, the initial success is massive. And Atlanta just had horrible ownership, horrible management that ruined them in terms of a team. I think if you brought in a successful ownership group, as well as actually manage the team properly and can have some success right off the rip, I don't see again why maybe they won't be top five like Nashville and Vegas, but could they have solid attendance numbers? Could they, given the population of that market, draw decent revenue streams from either merchandise, TV, all that. I think it's definitely possible. I think it is definitely possible. I don't think the culture between like Nashville, maybe Raleigh's a little bit different, but like say Nashville and Atlanta, I I don't see the argument on how Nashville can be a, such a success for the NHL. Again, fourth and fourth and 10. It doesn't have the biggest valuation just because it's not the biggest city, but I don't see how you can see Tennessee, which I believe, yeah, borders Atlanta, both very Southern markets. That's about as Southern as you can get besides like Mississippi, Alabama, but they're not putting a team there, obviously. Those are two of the most Southern markets in the entire United States. Nashville was a success. They've had some success from team perspective, not really initially, but like 
the past decade, they've been a massive success. I don't know how you cannot look at that and say, Atlanta can never be successful. I think given another chance in the market, and Nashville is like a third of the size of Atlanta, I don't know why people are just shutting down Atlanta as a potential spot. I I, I can see why maybe you would want to go to Quebec City. Quebec City is the safer option, but again, looking at the population difference, 844,000. And mind you, I think Quebec as a whole is like five, six million people, and like three to four million of that is in Montreal. The market share and the market the marketability and the upward potential of that franchise is just not that big. And overall, looking at Quebec City, I, I know some people really were turned off by the NHL and don't really watch the NHL anymore, but they're all still hockey fans. For the most part, they'll watch some NHL games. They're still in- involved in the league, involved in hockey as a whole. People in the Atlanta, Georgia area, I have family in the Atlanta, Georgia area, they do not care at all because they don't have a team. They're not going to root for Nashville, who's like a three, four hour drive. They don't care at all. So in Quebec City, yeah, you're missing out on like a one million area population in terms of fans. The Georgia, Atlanta area is like 10 million, 15 million people in total that just do not care about hockey at all. So in terms of bringing in new fans to the game, Quebec City They love hockey. They're diehard hockey fans. In terms of growing the game, I think going to an Atlanta does have far more upside for the NHL. You look at Seattle, they're already like the 10th highest valued franchise in the entire league and had like top 10 attendance this year. So why can't, well, I guess Seattle's a little bit different than Atlanta, but why can't an Atlanta work on a second go if a Nashville, if a Tampa, if a Dallas, if a Carolina have all been decently successful for the league, I'm not going to act like they're the Montreal Canadiens, the Toronto Maple Leafs, but they have been decently successful. So I don't see why, why you can't go back to Atlanta and at least try.